Welcome to Nicole's Cooking Show. Yay! Today, my my special guest is the chef Brad Ediger and his lovely assistant Emma. Yay! Where is he? Hello? You're in Australia? You should have been here hours ago. The show's starting. Okay, see you in a jiffy. Go. Oops. Here we are. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wow. right in the nickel time. Well, we caught a commuter flight. Everything was just right. Okay? Well, tell me, Nicole, what are your favorite kinds of food to eat? Popcorn. And I love it so much, it's coming out of my ears. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. It is. It's, it's come out of her ears. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I wouldn't eat it, though, with all that earwax. Okay. Well, today I thought that we would prepare a nice little meal, and what we will do for this, my lovely assistant here, Emma, will help me. I'm going to go ahead and carefully cut the top off this bag of lettuce so we can prepare a nice salad. Okay. A sharp knife is a safe knife. Never forget that. Okay. So, if Emma would do me a favor and empty the salad into the bowl, just about half of the bag. Okay. All of it? Or half of it. Probably all of it, because I don't eat a lot of it. Okay, that's plenty right there, okay? Mmm, very nice. Now this lettuce is the finest quality that can be bought at the store. It costs about $2 for a big bag, okay? And Emma is going to squirt some salad dressing on there while we go on to the next step, okay? Oh, okay. Pour it very carefully. <laughs> a little more than that. Pour it around in a circle here. Okay. That's very good. Okay. Now we're going to toss the salad. <laughs> and will Emma please stir that for me while we get started on the rest of this here. Now we're going to make some beef stroganoff today. So the first thing we want to do is melt a little butter in a pan. Yeah. See that the pan is heating up nicely and evenly all the way around, okay? So, Nicole, if you could make sure that that gets all over. Now, in order to prepare today's beef stroganoff dish, <laughs> we have some very basic ingredients. We're going to uh, saute a little garlic in this butter. And we're going to make a nice little sour cream sauce, and then we're going to cook some meat. And before we get all that going, we're going to have to get some noodles going. Dad, are the butter's melting? Very good. Thank you. Okay, so one of the first things we need to do, we need to get lots of yummy noodles cooking for the beef stroganoff. Okay, and my general rule of thumb, I put in one big fistful of noodles into the water for every person that's going to be eating at that meal. Okay? So I've already prepared, since we have 3,000 people in the studio audience today, that's a lot of noodles. And we'll have to stir these every few minutes to make sure that they don't ever stick. Okay, so you take care of that for me, Nicole. Okay, I'm going to move your chair over just a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the garlic into the butter, which is melted nicely in the bottom of the pan. We begin to get that all cooking up nicely until it just starts getting close to brown. Yeah. The salad is out. Oh, very nice. Getting it all stirred up good. Now, one thing that you may want to do with your garlic is add a little salt for flavor. I want to add it. Okay. Can you careful. pour some salt on there? Be very careful. Mmm. How does it smell, Nicole? Good. Thanks for being so <laughs> excited. Good. Okay. Get that all cooking really nice. After the garlic, 
we're going to add a little bit of soup base to this. And what we have done is we have dissolved a couple of cubes of beef bouillon in advance. Uh, let's go ahead and have Nicole pour this in, and then I'll have you do the next step. Okay? I'm going to do this. We're going to let that cook nicely. Okay? Now our salad has been all prepared here. We're going to set that off to the side. And then we'll have that all set to put on our plates in a little while. Dada, I okay. can, Dada, can I please do this job too? In just a minute. You got a better one here, okay? Oh, yeah. uh, here we got some meat, and we're going to put it out here onto our chopping block. We're going to prepare a little seasoning for this meat real quick. What we're going to do, roll up your sleeves. Take off your bracelet. We've got some Spadel Ranch. This is actually a good barbecue seasoning, okay. but it's really full. Got a lot of good flavor there. And I'm going to have Emma just mix it all up together really good there, right on the board. Just start squishing it around with your hands, okay? Good. This is slobbery. Is it slobbery? Yeah. Oh, perfect. That means it'll be nice and juicy. Dirty job. Is it a dirty job? Well, we will in a little bit. Okay, you keep those stirring up nice. And we have to wash everything when we're done. Okay. Now, can we put all that meat in here into the pan? Yeah. Okay, be very careful. Toss it in there. Oh, this is dirty. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to have to. Can I please do this? Keep all that going, make sure that it's warm enough. And we're going to want to not overcook the meat. That's one of the first things that makes it nice and tough and very hard to eat and enjoy. Yay! Doesn't that look delicious? It smells delicious too. And my hands are gooey-ooey. Okay, would you like to come over and rinse them off in the sink? Yeah, then I can cook some butter in there. Okay. All right, well, it looks like our meat is just about cooked. If you, if you can see, there's still just a little bit of pink tenderness on some of the pieces, but for the most part, everything has all been browned nicely, okay? Yeah, but and this will be plenty because... warm enough that you'll cook out any more of that red without overcooking the meat and causing it to get all tough, okay? It's all squishy and mushy when I got my hands all dirty. Yeah, but now it looks really yummy, huh? Yeah, Want to try a piece, Emma? Dirty. Yep. It's kind of hot. It's hot. Mmm. Is it tasty? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's really hot. You're going to have to... Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that yummy? Tasty? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Life is good. Now that our meat is all done and completely cooked, we're going to head and fi finish the final step here. Emma, would you please get me the sour cream? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now we've got a nice, thick, beefy base down in the bottom here, kind of soupy. And we're going to go ahead and add about a, a pint of sour cream to all of this mix. Okay? And I'll mix it. And my lovely assistant is going to mix it while I check the noodles. Okay? Just be very ginger, ginger and tender with that. Okay? And on the meat. Well, the noodles look like they're coming along pretty good. They may still need just a little longer. Mm, they could use about another two minutes. They're getting very, very close. And if you were to pick one of these noodles up and fling it against the ceiling, it would probably stick. And that's when you know it's just getting right. Okay. All right, our noodles have uh, been done just nicely, and we've already strained all the water out of them. Our sauce has been sitting here simmering, and it looks just lovely. What do you think about that, Emma? It's good. Is it one of my best works? No, like everyone else, you will have to wait. Can I stir? Oh, yeah. You can go ahead and mix that in a little bit, okay? Okay. A 
we'll mix that around a little bit while I do the dishes. Mmm. Not ready yet, so. Yummy. Can't get me. It doesn't end up. Well, you'll have to get some more. And I made a mess on the floor. So we always clean up our messes as we go. We don't have so much work to do afterwards. Now I see that my lovely assistant Emma has this all stirred up, just wonderfully nice. You got all these noodles, lots of big chunks of meat in there, and this very creamy, tangy stroganoff sauce. Sure. It'll be a delight for all the whole family alike, including the kids. All right? Now that we got that lovely sauce on there, we're going to set it back here on the counter and just let it cool and let those juices soak into the noodles for a few minutes. And we're going to work on dessert. Okay? So, we thought that we would make oatmeal cookies. Now this is something that you can deal with whatever recipes that you have in your local Betty Crocker cookbook that you might have on the shelf. There's a lot of wonderful ways to do it. The, one, the main thing you need to remember is to put oatmeal in the mix. I didn't see anything. Okay, so now we're going to place these in the oven, okay? Now, if I can have Nicole move. Now, you want to bake these for approximately 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Take my cookies in there. But we can do this real quick. We can do this really fastly with our special oven here, okay? Oh, I believe they're done. Okay, let's see how they turned out. Oh, look at that. Nice and golden brown. Mmm. Tell me what you think about that cookie. Ooh, it's hot. Careful. Tell me what you think. Is that good? Mmm, it's good. It's good. Is it good? Mm, mm. Those are yummy. Okay? So we'll just set these over here on the counter, too. And we'll talk about a few things. Okay, Nicole, would you like to tell us a little more about your favorite foods, the things that you like to eat so much? I like pepperoni pizza. Oh, yeah. Like I said, popcorn. Um, um, what else do you like besides pizza? Candy. Candy. Ah, a favorite at every family Shock table. Chalk tarts. Chalk tarts. Okay. Well, I think that all the food has probably been getting together pretty good right now. So let's go ahead and pull it out and we'll get a chance to. It's gone. Where did it go? Where's the salad? Where's the stroganoff? Where are the cookies? Oh no! I, kind of I don't know where everything went. Where did it all go? It's put on the floor. Here, follow. I think. I found a gun! You found a gun? There he is! There he is! Get him! Get him! Anything so disgusting. He ate it! He ate the whole lunch. Wait, uh, this is my baby egg. Don't touch my egg. Here, baby egg. <laughs> he ate all the food and now he's a porky piggy pie. <laughs> oh. Sorry, open your mouth. Well, it looks like he ate all the food. So, Chef Brad says, when in doubt, find takeout. <laughs>